Hey everyone, my name is Andrick Landfield, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this lighting setup that I have around me here in my office, specifically looking at these lights in the background here, how it looks like light is coming through the window, through the blinds that is faked with a mirror. So I'm gonna take a look at all the lights that we're using, some negative fill here, and explain to you how I've done it and why I chose to do what I did. So I hope you guys are able to learn something from this video. So the first thing I did was find a room where it made sense for the sun to be coming through the window. I had this window here in my office office so I thought that would be perfect. I wanted to make sure that all my lights were motivated by this window source and as you can see right now everything is overexposed but that's okay because this is set for the exposure for the final look. The next step I did was to find a large mirror. We're going to need a large mirror to bounce the light into it so that we can get this pattern in the back wall. I had this large mirror that would work perfectly. I then just balanced the mirror on the windowsill and brought the blinds down over it. As you can see here, it really helped control all the light spill on the back wall and around the room because it was blocking some of the light coming in from that window. I then added a snoot to my light so I could control the light spill and it didn't bounce in all the white walls. And then I started bouncing this off the mirror and moving it around until I found the right look. I wanted this light to look like it was coming from above as if it were like midday. So I raised the light stand all the way as high as I could and pointed it in an angle downward so I could get that look. The next step was to brighten my face to separate me from the background. I did this by using my quasar tube set to 5600 Kelvin so that I could match it with my other key light and the outside ambient light. I bounced this into my white walls to soften a little bit and make it a little bit larger to emulate the bounced light that would be inside my room if the windows were all the way open. This unfortunately added a lot of light to the left side of my face, but we will fix that with some negative fill later. The next step was to add some lights in the background as some practicals just to decorate the background a bit and acting a little bit like a rim light. So I added this yellow diffusion ball in the background with some plants just to decorate that a little bit more. I then finished a look by adding some negative fill on the left side of the camera and this really helps sell the natural motivated look of the image by adding contrast to my face and I did this simply by using two light stands and a dark blanket hung over them both. All you're really trying to do is eliminate the light bouncing from the white walls back into your face and sucking up all that light into that black or dark blanket. I then added a quick color grade and added some grain and gate weave to make the shot more interesting and that's how I lit this shot. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you guys aren't already and let me know down in the comments what questions you guys might have or other setups that you guys might like to see. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.